it's important on any car to have good brakes, and ABS on modern cars provides dependable stopping power when it's working. When you see this collection of lights come up on your display, it's usually to do with the ABS system. To diagnose the fault, we need to insert a code reader into the OBD slot. You'll see on the display here, it shows that the front left wheel sensor is throwing up an error. To replace the sensor, first we need to jack up the car, or in my case, I had use of a lift. Next, we loosen off the wheel bolts before jacking it up into the air and removing the wheel entirely. You find that you might be able to do this job with the wheel still on the car, but for the purpose of this video, I found it much easier to show what was happening by removing the wheel first. So when you look on the other side of the brake unit, here is the ABS sensor. You'll see the cable then goes from the sensor up behind the suspension. There are a couple of securing points and then the cable goes through into the box where it plugs in. To remove the sensor, we need a five millimeter Allen key. As this bolt is open to the elements, it can be a little bit corroded. So it's good to make sure that the Allen wrench is tapped all the way in before trying to loosen off. With the bolt out, I found the most difficult part was actually trying to lever out the old sensor. With some penetrating fluid, it made the job a lot easier. Whilst using a screwdriver to lever out from underneath, firmly pull on the sensor and it should just pop right out. So now we can begin taking the cable out of its securing points. There's one here just on the suspension. You just simply grab both ends and pull. And now we can open the box where the plugs are. Gently feed out the blue plug, which is the wheel speed sensor. And then we can remove the cable from its final securing point by holding both ends and pulling towards you. Now at the bottom of the plug, there is a small retainer clip. You need to find this clip, push firmly with your thumb, and then you should be able to pull the plug apart. Here's the new cable, which cost me about £35 from a local auto parts store. I would suggest buying a decent one rather than something cheap online as you may end up having to replace it again soon. So with the new cable we'll start at the plug. These go together just as you took the old one apart. And then place the plug back in its protective box making sure it's properly seated. And then you can secure the cable just outside the plug box. Then you'll need to secure it behind the suspension again. And finally we can insert the ABS wheel speed sensor back in its mounting hole. Some people do use some red rubber grease which will make the job easier next time you come around to replacing one. Once you've tightened the bolt you can then torque it to 8 newton meters. That completes the replacement of the sensor. Now we just have to put the wheel back on Insert the bolts in a crisscross fashion. Lower the car back down and torque the wheel bolts to 100 newton meters using the same crisscross pattern. With the job done, it took me about an hour to complete and the cost of a wheel speed sensor. A quick final test to make sure that the lights have cleared. And now you can go back out and explore in your BMW Z4. As ever, thanks for watching. And please like, comment and subscribe on the videos if you are enjoying them. Thanks again. Bye for now.